Hi, welcome back to Once Upon a Game. I'm Kevin Kitchens, and in this episode, we're going to do an unboxing of Bayonets and Tomahawk. It's the French and Indian War by Marc Rodrigue. Rodrigue. Butchering the name, I'm sure it's uh, again from GMT. It is for two players. There are um, some options to take it up to four, I believe. Uh, in teams, and uh, you can also, there are some solitaire guidelines, even though there are, um, uh, it's listed on solitaire suitability at about a six, which, you know, you know, if you want to play solitaire, you're going to play solitaire, it doesn't matter what that says, but anyway, the collection is only a, a three, so uh, let's crack it open and see what you get inside. So it's one of the, you know, the standard G&T boxes, not, you know, real big, thick box that's probably based on what is actually inside which we're going to explore together Ooh, we've got a bag so we must be drawing things it's a kind of a papery canvas bag not the most durable one but probably serves its purpose then we've got a bag of bags thank you gmt it's always awesome then we've got some custom dice gmt's going really good on the custom dice of late so let's pull these out here there are those large, uh, smooth printed. No, these are these are embossed actually, engraved. But these are those larger, uh, probably say 16 millimeter dice. But they got those rounded corners, so that they actually roll better than a. They don't just go plunk like a normal six sided does. So you get six of those combat dice, I assume. And then we got three decks of cards. We got blue. We got red. We've got green. So let's take a look at what these are. This is a card-driven game. It says it borrows somewhat from, uh, you know, like Twilight Struggle is a card-driven game, but in this case, there's no hand of cards, which I kind of like because I've modified some other games where you don't have a hand, for instance, Commands and Colors and uh, uh, 1775 by uh, Academy, um, where you just, you know, you, you draw the cards, uh, even Thunder Alley from GMT it that way so the green cards are obviously for one side they're just kind of stuck here standard GMT quality nice and thick so let's we'll check here's a smallpox epidemic so you got some with two triangles 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 is obviously gonna mean something two times triangles British encroachment so we got those cards and these are for blue and these are for for red so interesting to see how this plays out uh, these are probably just more of the same but we'll go ahead and take a flip through them just for completeness the blue deck is a little thicker and the red deck is a little thicker the blue and red are about the same green's a little smaller so Got the same thing, Cherokee Diplomacy, Construction Frenzy. So these mean nothing until you know how the rules work, but French like Worship, so obviously they have something to do with your actions. It's interesting that they're different colored backs, so it's an interesting dynamic. Bayonets and Tomahawks. So for the red cards. Uh, and these are not soccer penalty cards. These are just uh, disease in French camp, delayed supplies from France. So obviously this is the French, you know, the Indians, and then I guess the British come to help them too, or something. In the, in this in this game, I should say. Surprise landing, force march, smallpox infected blankets. How rude! All right, so cards, 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 cards. All right, now we've got the rules of play, and it's not too not too thick. Again, they got the nice uh, artwork on the cover. Standard GMT, full color, um, no, um, you know, not glossy, uh, kind of the matte finished paper. So the cards there are three types of cards: British, French, and Indian. Green gr uh, cards allow units to perform actions and execute events. So, interesting. Maybe you share the, the green cards, maybe? 
I don't know. We'll find out. So the rules uh, start. Now this one has a nice table of contents. So we got the rules. The rules go. Um, it's a 24 page rule book. Um, and the rules go through most of it. Yeah, there's a unit militia reference and a battle priority table in the end, but for the most part, uh, they're describing the space as the sequence of play starts at 6 and actually ends with victory conditions on 21. So the whole book will. But it's not too dense either, so you can decide for yourself. Now we've got the playbook. Get with the artwork. And the playbook is 48 pages. Has a nice little thing here on easily forgotten rules in the back, which is good. So don't forget to look at the easy, easily forgotten rule. So this playbook, so GMT is kind of strange in in that they name they name a book the playbook, and it can be one of two things: it can be either be scenarios, or it can be examples of play. But they call them both a playbook, so you never know what you're going to get until you get it, unless you download it from their website. So, yeah, examples of play is this first time players should start here. Uh, familiar yourself with the components and go through each example. So, and it's an example of how, how, to play the, how to play the game and how the cards work and so on and so forth. And then examples of movement, etc., etc., etc. So, there we go. All right, beautiful color. Lots of, lots of clear uh, examples on the maps. I'll take a look at the board here. Oh, now here are our scenarios. Let's take a look. It does have, we, maybe we do get some scenarios in here. There are. Now this is a strategy primer on the different scenarios. So what the scenarios are will be spelled out somewhere else, I'm sure. So, all right, so here we go. We got some reference cards. You can tell it's coming. This is the Indian setup. Oh, the scenarios are cards. Very nice. Way to go, GMT. Big thumbs up. Thumb, thumbs up. Good job. Very good. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. So scenario one, scenario two. Also, so we got the Indian set up for all scenarios. Is this way. It's blank on the other side. I guess if you surrender, you can just hold that up. Scenario three. Scenario four. And then, oh, this is the setup for scenario three, uh, you know, for the French, and then the scenario setup for the British. So each player would have their own. So there's four scenarios in the game. So that's pretty cool. Good, good quality. Kind of that glossy card stock. We have the double folded, or you know, double sized reference cards. This has basically a rules summary and some charts. Rule 7.1, action round steps, rating, battle steps, retreat priorities, rallying. So basically a rule summary player aid kind of thing with some like again some of the charts and things you're gonna you're gonna work with. So there's two of those, one for each player. And now we get to the punch boards, and there are three sheets. There's two sheets of counters, so it's very, it's not very counter heavy. So they're the pre-punch, pre-rounded counters, which is cool. And we can give it another one a little bit more. All right, so these are the New England Patriots. So, uh, ooh, and that's the, it's the very graphic dead symbol, I guess. Blood all over the place. But they punch very cleanly. And so you got apparently one sheet of counters for each side. And then the French. And then the Indians here are triangles. Now that's what's called the French and Indian War. They can call it the French and Native American War, but you know, it's not gonna all bothered by stuff like that. All right, so we got those, and there's some Native American markers on this side too. So, 
cool. And then we got another sheet of you know your standard GMT strip strip punch counters uh, markers. So it looks like we got uh, French and British control markers, uh, raid who rated who markers, um, some construction markers, and some road markers. Route, battle spent, just various status markers. So you get one sheet of those. And then we have the game board. It's a vertical game board. So it's, it's in portrait mode. So uh, you're playing, you know, it goes out away from you when you're playing. So uh, let's open that up and take a look at it right now. All right, so as noted, this is Bandits and Tomahawks. This is the map that you get. It's a standard eight panel map. So it's 34 by 22 in size. And you see it's got the whole Northeast here. We've got Virginia in the South kind of abstracted going all the way up the Atlantic seaboard in Nova Scotia uh, into Canada. All right. So we see you got, uh, it looks like Indian areas and then British controlled areas in red. Uh, there are some helps and tracks on the board that you can see here. Colossus container and some movement points or references. Beautiful, brightly colored map. So that is an overview of what the map looks like. Okay, so if you pick up a copy of Bandits and Tomahawks, French and Indian War from GMT Games, you are going to get three sheets of counters, two sheets of counters, one sheet of markers. You're going to get two player reference summary cards, player aid cards, they call them. You're going to get two setup cards for the British for all four scenarios. You're going to get two, two setup cards for the French for all four scenarios. You're going to get an Indian setup card for all scenarios. You're gonna get a 48 page, did I get it right? Yep, 48 page playbook, which kind of describes uh, examples of play, so on and so forth. You're going to get a 24 page, did I get that right? Yes, 24 page rule book, most of which are the rules, so you're gonna have to read it, but it's not too bad. You're gonna get a bag of bags. You're gonna get a draw bag of some sort. You're gonna get six, Custom dice, pre-rounded, really cool. You're gonna get three decks of cards, one for the British, one for the French, one for the Indians. And you're going to get that very cool map that we just took a look at. And that, friends, is what comes in Bayonets and Tomahawks, the French and Indian War by GMT Games. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Bye-bye. Oh!